Good morning. This is gonna be the first summer training video of the year. I have been running bear for a while now. Um, haven't been able to make a video just because it just seems like no matter what I was doing, it didn't, on his camera out, it didn't work out. Uh, as you can hear there, got some other guys with me today. Uh, Bucky is here and Mark, so good to, I always like hunting with other people just because when you're bear hunt like this, it's good to have some help. We just started, um, let the dogs empty out down there. They ran around and used the bathroom. Now we, we put the dogs up on the rig and we're gonna ride around and see if we can't get the dogs to smell a bear, strike and cut loose and all that good stuff. So I went right, they went left. See if we can get one started. Well, no bueno so far. Um, Bucky and Mark have rigged around out here and they haven't done any good. I rigged around a bunch of really good spots that normally I strike a bear and nothing. So it kind of tells me, especially with them out there and all the ground they've covered, all the ground that I've covered, that the bears aren't moving too good. Going to uh, just keep, we've been up high most of the time. Um, I'm gonna go out here and drop down in the holler and see if I can't get one started down there. Usually, if the bears aren't high, they're low. If they're not low, then they're just not moving very good at all, which I think might be the case. But uh, I'd say within the next, hopefully, hour or so, we'll be able to get on one. Well, they, I missed it. I didn't get it on video, but they just opened up there for a second. I'll say this, Clyde rigged more than brother. Brother barely opened, but they're both year old dogs. I'm figuring them out. Clyde is very trashy though. <laughs> and I'm trying to break him of it. Brother is pretty dang on straight and narrow, which I love. So if they take off on something, brother's not barking, Clyde is, then I'll know. Clyde's went uphill here. Brother went down. I would say Clyde is Got a better chance because the wind feels like it's blowing off of here, which is the way Clyde went. Brother's coming up out here now. Clyde just opened. I'll get Brother to go in there to him and check him. Let's pull up here. Brother's about to get in there to him. I can hear him better from up here, I think. Well, that's strange. Clyde has quit. <laughs> Coming back, I didn't bump him or anything, and brother, still out there. Clyde is back to the truck now. Come on, load up. Hey, hey, load up. I just, <laughs> I just turned my GoPro off, and I just got bark indicators on brother. Right there's a cloud fooled around and then came straight back for some reason. Yeah, but if brother's barking, I trust it. So let's just keep a track on him. I ain't gonna holler the guys yet and let them know because I gotta make sure. I don't want to get their, their on out through here and I don't want them turning around and rushing out here to me for nothing. But if he gets out of there with it, I'll holler at him. You can see it there, brother's barking 20 barks per minute. He just opened again. Still can't figure out why Clyde came back to me. What in the world? I'm gonna turn Clyde in there with him. Yeah, 10-4. Where was he at? All right, Clyde's going in there to him. This is, you see Clyde went right here and then stopped and came well, back. Out the crazy pit. He just stopped and came back. But maybe whatever he was running there went in a tree 
and brother located it. I don't know. That's the best thing I can come up with. I mean, you all see the tracks. I got a rig out here at the dozer blade and uh, brother and Clyde act like they've caught something up here on the hill. I mean, they're they're pulled up tree, not moving, but I don't, I don't know if there's a tree even right there where they're at. I'm gonna walk up here and see what they're doing. Okay. I mean, they're barking every breath, but let me, let me, uh, I don't, I don't know. Let me get up here to them and then I'll holler at you all and see what's going on. I'm gonna walk in from right here. They've caught something out here if y'all wanna get up here. I've got, I'm going to leave the truck now and go with my radio. Where are you at? Here we go. There's no good way into them. I mean, look at this. So I'm gonna leave them there with it treed and wait for them to get up here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut some more dogs in there to them. That way uh, they keep it up because it's not setting very high at all. And then uh, hopefully it'll stay treed for when they get out here. All right, I'm gonna turn these dogs in. Bucky's coming in from below, so we're gonna go ahead and head in from the top. You're good, you're good. It ain't easy. <laughs> I'm coming around the road to you now, Bucky. All right, so just I'm walking in and out to where they're at and I uh, just realized I dropped every one of my batteries at that last tree and the battery's about to die on here, so. I'm just gonna get on the tree and get the dogs off the bear. But yeah, no more batteries, uh, and this battery's about to die. Ugh. 
Blade! You need any help? No, I can get them. You sure? I'm gonna let you clear out and then I'll get them. Okay. I can leave another. It's just not worth trying to lead. They're, they're chaos, so I'd just rather come back and get them. I gotta go back to the first tree. Oh, God. I'll get you. Brother, buddy, you cooling off? Good job. I'm watering them all. Okay. It's so hot, I knew. Today, that's why the reason I want to get on one early is because it's so stinking hot. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed that one. Uh, just want to give you all a couple quick updates. First, a Clyde update and then a Bliss update. Uh, the first thing with Clyde is yesterday we went out hunting again and I didn't film, I wasn't filming any of it. I did get a, a quick cell phone video, but we got on a pretty big bear and uh, Clyde got injured. Um, so the bear bit him on top of the head, it looks like, and um, it broke actually his upper jaw. Now he's going to be fine. Uh, we already got him back from the vet. I took him to the vet, you know, as soon as it happened, and then uh, they got him lined out. Uh, it didn't require surgery because it's still in place, and so they said the best bet would just be to let it heal on its own. But Clyde is going to be down for at least a month. Um, I got to feed him soft food and all that stuff. So yeah, it sucks that uh, that happened. I feel sorry for my boy. He's living the life inside right now while he heals up. Um, I'll actually bring him out here when we go do the uh, bliss pregnancy update, which we're gonna go do right now. What do you say? What do you say? What y'all doing? All right, Clyde, let's show him your face, buddy. Yeah, looking a little rough. Looking rough. Got him stitched up there on the nose and then shaved him down with some drain tubes in there. But actually, like right in here is where his jaw is actually broke. But he's going to be all right. As y'all can tell, I mean, it happened yesterday, and he's acting fine. So he don't mind too much. He's tough. Now, Bliss, my big mama. <laughs> Son, look at her. She's getting thick. Her pups are due uh, June 13th is like the roundabout day. So starting to approach it. What is that, like a couple weeks or so? Probably two and a half weeks. Uh, she's getting big. Uh, right now she normally when she's in shape hunting she's around like 37 38 pounds and we weighed her the other day and she's almost 50 pounds so she's put on the weight which we've also been letting her we've been feeding her heavy and uh, she kind of lost an appetite there but we started implementing soft food into her diet and she loves soft food so yeah bliss is <clears throat> bliss is a big mama <laughs> yeah just wanted to give you all an update on bliss so Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe, comment. Um, this is the first time I've done like that POV. I was wearing the GoPro on there. I'm going to implement more GoPros into my videos. So I'm actually going to do a rig cam. That way it just runs all the time. I'm going to run it out of my truck on the power supply and just let it run all the time on top, which I think will be pretty cool. And then uh, I'm working on a dog collar setup with the GoPro. Um, I had a GoPro on a dog collar already experimenting with it and I lost it, which I didn't tell you that but oh. I lost it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Until the next one.